Hi, this is Mr. West, and you're watching a distributive property worksheet from MathDrills.com. There will be a link in the description below if you want to check it out. There's tons of other resources on this website. But before we get into the problems, let's take a look at what is the distributive property. So what we can do here is we can do some simple addition, order of operations, and then some multiplication to solve this expression. We have 2 times the quantity 3 plus 4. So we start with the parentheses, 3 plus 4 equals 7. And if we have a number directly outside of parentheses, we're going to multiply that next. So that's 2 times 7, and that gives us 14. Distributive property is another way to handle this and is going to be equivalent to 14. Check this out. So first thing, I like to, a couple different methods or ways I like to describe this. Rainbow method, you got two little rainbows, you connect it. Okay, You can call it speed dating so that the two gets paired up with three and also the four. He's got to date everyone inside the parentheses. I'll refer to that later. But essentially what we're doing here is we're doing two times three and then also two times four, and we're going to add these together because these are all positive. There's an implied positive there. So we have two plus or sorry, two times three, and that's six. I'm writing it above. Plus two times four, that's eight, and that equals 14 also. Okay. Now, this is useful for when we can't simplify any more inside the parentheses, as is the case with all these examples. For example, number one, we have four plus nine W. Can't simplify that any further, but we can do is distribute this 2 being multiplied by both those terms inside. So we have 2 times the 4. That gives us 8 plus 2 times, I'm going to actually write it out for this first example, even if it's a little tedious, plus 2 times the 9w. We get 8 for that result. Then we get 18w for that result. And that's as simple as it can be. So we circle our answer 8 plus 18w. And that's it. That's our answer, OK? Now, the only times we really got to be careful is when we have negatives. So here's our first negative example. We're going to have negative 8, and we need to multiply this by the first term, and then also the second term inside the parentheses by the 3. Negative 8 times positive 6x, that gives us negative 48x. And then we have eight, negative 8 times uh, a positive 3, that gives us a negative 24. Notice how I copied this down first. I'm generally not a fan. I of just copying this down, okay? Because essentially what I'm doing here is I'm combining. So I'm not adding, I'm combining. So I just like to think of it as if I multiply this negative eight times this negative, or sorry, this this positive three, I'm gonna get negative 24 and I'm gonna combine the two. And in this case, they're not like terms, so they can't combine. So that's gonna be my final answer like that. What about an example where everything is negative? Same process, we're gonna multiply, multiply we get positive 16d this time. And then if I combine these terms, don't just go ahead and copy down the minus. You could, but you just got to be careful later. I like just going, OK, I have negative 4 times a negative 5. And that is going to give me a positive 20, so plus 20. That's my answer. In standard form, you're going to write the variable first, just as an FYI. What about something like this? A couple different options. We could go the 2 to the negative 5, and then the negative 5 to the negative 5. Or the other way. It doesn't really matter. It's just making sure that we speed date appropriately. We need to match up each one of these with the term inside, OK? Or on the outside of the parentheses. So we have 2 times negative 5. That gives us negative 10. And then negative 5m times negative 5. That gives us positive 25m. And that is our answer. A couple other oddities I want to address before letting you guys go. Um, again, if we have something outside here, we can even go this way. Just a matter of how you consider it. So negative 3 times negative 2. That gives us positive 6. Be careful with negatives. It uh, trips people up a lot. Technically, I should put that B first. What about something like this one and this one? Okay, Those look tricky, but essentially it's the same as negative 1. If you just have a negative sign out in front, we can distribute that. It's the same thing as having a negative 1 times 6 minus 4P. So don't forget, you just change the sign, essentially, of everything inside the parentheses. Negative 6 plus 4p is going to be the result of that. And that's all there is to it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. I have tons of other content, not just for math drills, but for all types of different math. And I look forward to seeing you next time right here on West Explains Best.